Disney, Lucasfilm, and the mainstream media are preparing for Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny to not perform well. They already see the writing on the wall. And this was billed as Kathleen Kennedy's project. And anyone that heard it billed as that knew that it was in serious, serious trouble. And well before the film even releases, we're already getting articles right now going ahead and setting up for this film to underperform. Right here from Fortune, it says, The Force has left Lucasfilm. What has gone wrong for the studio behind Star Wars and Indiana Jones and how Disney's Bob Iger can salvage his $4 billion investment? Well, I was told that nothing was wrong with Star Wars and Lucasfilm. I was told everything was perfect. I was told Kathleen Kennedy was the greatest producer in the history of Hollywood and that all of these Star Wars films have made so much money and everything was perfect and Star Wars fans were very, very toxic. In fact, Fortune, you want me to read more, but I'm not going to subscribe to your garbage website. And one of the reasons I would never subscribe to your garbage website is you're sitting here telling us that what has gone wrong with Lucasfilm, but you also have this article right here. Star Wars The Last Jedi online harassment came from Russian trolls and bots. Report finds. Oh, wow. Thank you for breaking all of this wonderful news. So it's just Russian bots. It's just Russian bots and trolls. But now here we are all this time later. And you're saying, hey, uh, the forces left Lucasfilm. You know why? Because the fans were right. Because the fans are always right. We also have Fandom Wire here really trying to prepare you for what is about to happen. We have now set the bar for Indiana Jones to maybe pass Ant-Man and the Wasp or Ant-Man and 3, I'm sorry. And that is the bar for success now. That is where we are. Harrison Ford's Indiana Jones 5 likely to dethrone Marvel's Ant-Man 3 at the box office performance. Dethrone? Dethrone is the words that we're using for a Marvel Cinematic Universe that literally lost money. And you are using the words dethrone because you are trying to set up a standard of success that is nowhere near a success at all. Unbelievable, but this is the media doing what they do. Marvel suffered one of its biggest setbacks this year upon the release of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. Uh, with the threequel bombing at the box office, not only did it fail to surpass the $500 million mark, but the Peyton Reed-helmed venture completely obliterated trilogy records um, among the Ant-Man standalone films. Um, a truly dismaying time for Disney. But you just said it, <laughs> it's likely to dethrone Ant-Man 3 at the box office. The fact that you're just saying it's likely to surpass Ant-Man 3 says everything we need to know about this next Indiana Jones film. And for the studio's forthcoming Indiana Jones project, one can only hope it does better at the box office than Ant-Man 3 did, which it just might. Hey, it just might. It just might do better than this film in the Marvel Cinematic Universe that literally failed. Indiana Jones might just do better than that. Okay. Okay, or at least that's what the experts are saying. Someone has to put a cap on financial disasters, uh, d uh, disasters after all. Uh, Indiana Jones 5 is predicted to outshine Ant-Man 3's box office. How the hell is this the standard that Indiana Jones is at right now? Harrison Ford's last run as the iconic archaeologist is uh, less than a month away from its silver screen premiere. And if early reviews are anything to go by, then the future of Indiana Jones 5 is looking bleak. Um, and it says, as per predictions laid down by Box Office Pro, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny is believed to churn more numbers in the domestic circuit than Disney's latest flop, Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, did. During its paltry run in cinemas, the Paul Rudd-led superhero film managed to amass merely $214 million domestically against uh, the budget of $200 million. In comparison, Indiana 5 is being predicted to gross at a minimum of $225 million at the box office uh, and about three hundred and eighty million on the higher end. What does the future of Indiana Jones behold? If we look at the Indiana Jones franchise, the fourth installment in the swashbuckling film series has the highest grossing addition yet. The Steven Spielberg direction went on to earn somewhere around $790 million worldwide against the budget of $185 million, with its domestic collection standing high at $371 or $317 million. And so basically, there's just... This is where we are with Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, they're basically setting the bar at... Ant-Man 3. 
it might just overperform Ant-Man 3. This reportedly has around a $250 to $300 million budget, meaning it needs to make around six, seven, maybe even $750 million to break even. To break even. Now, they already sent the shills out, and guess what? The shills, the shills ain't feeling it. All the shills have rejected this film. It's at a 50% from the critics on Rotten Tomatoes. So Kathleen Kennedy, the wonderful praised leader of Lucasfilm, the greatest producer in the history of existence, according to the mainstream, is now looking at her latest failure. And she again is proving to be one of the worst leaders we have ever seen. And Fortune, even Fortune, the same Fortune that blamed The Last Jedi online harassment coming from Russian bots and trolls, even that Fortune is now saying the Force has left Lucasfilm. What has gone wrong for the studio behind Star Wars and Indiana Jones? Hmm. And how Disney's Bob Iger can salvage it? Well, why not Kathleen Kennedy? Are you saying a woman can't do the job? Is that what you're saying, Fortune? Because you said Lucasfilm. Why are you looking for Bob Iger to save it? Why not the strong, powerful woman that's so successful? Why not her? Because the truth is, she's objectively terrible at what she does, and she has been for a long time, and many of us have been calling that out for a long time. You guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo Lost Money, Raylos Are Weird, Fuck Lucasfilm, and we will talk to you later.